ati jambo woo jambo bwana habari gani nzuri sana ati wageni mkaribishwa gandi bayetu hakuna matata jambo woo jambo bwana habari gani nzuri sana ati wageni Mwakaribishwa zanziba yetu hakuna matata nchi ya maajabu hakuna matata karibishwa wageni hakuna matata no way look at the leaves eh Hello family, welcome back to Tales of Janubia. This is your one and only girl Joy. How are you my lovely people doing? I hope that you're doing amazing and I hope that your weekend is going on well. My weekend is amazing. So guys, um, you know that I love cooking and I love to use a lot of spices, different types, different blends. But it actually occurred to me recently that I have never seen some of the spices that I have come to love so much in my kitchen and how they look like in their natural form. And so I decided to do a little bit of a research and this research landed me in Zanzibar. Guys, besides its beautiful tropical weather, beaches and rich history, the production and export of spices has earned Zanzibar the accolade, the spice island of East Africa. And of course, the curious Joy had to go and see it for herself. So family, join me in this interesting and educative and revealing tour as I explore how the spices we use in our kitchen is grown and look like in their natural form. Upon arrival at the Hakuna Matata Spice Farm, uh, my tour guide for the day is the amazing, fun, and very knowledgeable Mr. Solomon. So come with me, let's learn together. Yeah. Okay. How, how long have you been here? Uh, like this one? Uh, no. Uh, uh, almost 10 years. 10 years? Yes. Okay. It's very famous. Okay. And our farm we call the Hakuna Matata Spice Farm. Hakuna Matata Spice Farm. Yeah. And in our farm here we produce many kinds of spice. Okay. Yeah. I will show you, for example, ginger, uh -huh. black pepper, uh -huh. cinnamon, uh -huh. turmeric, vanilla, uh, cloves, and lemongrass, and other spices. All right. And yes. Also, we'll explain you how we produce, how we harvest, and how we use it. That's good. <laughs> Tell me something that you know about the vanilla plant. You see, in my entire 20 plus years of existence, all I knew about the vanilla is the fact that it was the go-to flavor the world over from perfumes to cakes to ice cream. And I honestly, it never crossed my head that the vanilla is actually a plant. You know, because I'm so used to using it as a liquid extract. And so for me, the biggest revelation for me on this trip was finally to see the vanilla plant and to learn more about it. You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this plant we call the vanilla plant. You see? Vanilla plant. And vanilla plant is a parasite plant. It needs support from another tree. Mm. Yes. And this is vanilla stick. This one, okay. see, but it still is young. It's still very young. Yeah. How long does it take to get ready? Ah, okay. It take uh, six months. Six months to be ripe. Yeah, okay. and when you ripe, the skin going to change color to be brown. To be brown. Yes, and okay. then we harvest the brown. After that, we drown the shade or not the sun, mm -hmm. because when we drown the sun, it's going to be dry. Then all flavor to disappear. Yes, yeah, so we dry the shadow for to get nice flavor. Mm. Yeah. Oh, is the vanilla that you put on? I know that a lot of people use it. Yes. And we, cakes yeah, and really. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Cream. Coffee, mm -hmm. uh, cream. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. we make a cream, mm -hmm. perfume and soap. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. vanilla, vanilla. Yeah. So, what's the? Um, how long does the plant itself live for? 
Okay, it will take uh, two years. Two years. Yeah, okay. to grow, to be big like this and to start to produce the vanilla stick. Okay. Yeah, after okay. that, twice a year we harvest. Okay. Yes. Twice a year. Mm -hmm. And vanilla is very expensive. It's very expensive, yeah. yeah. So, do you guys export? Really? Do you export it? Yeah, we export it, but Which... only government they can export here, Zanzibar. Only government. Only government. So, for so... you, when you when you harvest, you give it to the government? Yes, officials? yes, okay. yes. Sometimes we're selling here to the spice shop we have here. So we're selling, if there are some tourists they want to buy, they can buy here. Yeah. But uh, if you have a lot of kilo, so we bring to the government. So government, they give us some money, then, yeah, and then they then export. They export. Yes. Which countries does the government here export? Uh, it's many countries. Okay. Yeah, America, mm -hmm. uh, German, French, mm -hmm. yeah, and another country. A lot of countries, yeah. Okay, good. South Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And vanilla is very expensive because first it starts to produce the flower. Mm. Also vanilla, vanilla flower it needs to pollination mm. because it has the male and female. Yeah. Yeah, it has the male and female vanilla flower. So mm. most of pollination to get the vanilla stick. Mm. Yeah, like Mexico, Madagascar, there are butterfly. The pollination vanilla flower. Yes. Yes, but us here Zanzibar have not butterfly to pollination vanilla flower. So we pollination it by hands. Oh, how do you do that? Oh, yeah, you we, just take the, the, the male? Okay, no, we take the small stick, uh -huh. then uh, inside it, yeah. that the male and female, mm -hmm. so just you, you tie together like this. Uh, yes, just right, right to pollination. Wow, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Okay. If you don't pollination vanilla flower, it's it going to not... be dry, then it falls down. Yeah. So you can't to get the vanilla stick. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Really? You know, it's just like anything else to yes. bear children or anything. Children and it has, it. To, mm -hmm. has to be fine. Yes. Alright. Okay. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Well, this. look at the leaves, yeah? I know cannabis looks like this, but yeah, I never but knew it would grow this tall. Oh, like, really? I know that they usually yeah, the grow this small one like this. Yeah. Oh, really, you know, the cannabis plant. Yeah. Yeah, but this is not really, just kidding, so. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's so yeah. good. <laughs> it's not really cannabis plant. Okay. Yeah, but the leaves looks they like, look yes. Like yeah, you see, like, small that one? Yeah. Yeah. But this plant, we call it iodine. You know iodine? Yeah. Yeah. Needed for like for people who have anemia, yes. they need some iodine. iodine. Yes, really. For your infection okay. also is good. Okay. Yeah, iodine. Okay. Yes, my please. So here we use a uh, match for stop of blood if you cut yourself with the knife. Yes. Yes. So when you cut the the stem, so you get the liquid. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All the iodine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so so. It's like soap. Yeah. So then if like you so cut okay. yourself, yeah, you yeah. just apply that and then it stops the bleeding. Yes. Oh. Can you touch it? Yeah. You can touch it. Like it blue. Yeah, it's like blue. It's sticky. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes we'll put the leaves mm -hmm. like a bandage. Oh, on air. top of... Mm -hmm. Wow, pharmacy right here. Yeah. <laughs> Got a <laughs> clinic in the, in yeah, the farm. Really. <laughs> Okay, that's mm -hmm. really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. got me very good on that one. I thought that it was kind of, you, 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 you nearly convinced me. Yeah. Nutmeg, yeah. yeah. So okay. This is nutmeg tree. Do you see the fruit up over there? Yes. Yeah, so that is nutmeg tree. And the nutmeg tree, it grow very, very big tree. Mm. Yes, it grow 15 to 19 meters. Yeah. Okay. And first a year we harvest as well. Yeah, this is really nutmeg. So the view. Poor, poor. 
So we use the nut inside. Okay. Yes. How about the fruit outside? Oh. The fruit but this outside. is not really matured. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, see yeah. the this one? The, yeah. It's going to be red. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So this we call the red mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So red mess we use for cooking for flavor and sometimes yeah. use for making perfume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about the fruit outside? Do you the eat fruit, it? Yeah, yeah we eat, but uh, we we take the powder inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, remove. We dry. Mm -hmm. After dry, mm -hmm. we crush. Okay. Yeah, we get the powder. Okay. Is that one you see inside? Oh, mm -hmm. that is the powder. Mm -hmm. So we that use for cooking powder. that one in the in the sweet potato. Sometimes we mix it in the now I can banana. Smell this. Yeah. Now. At the moment. Oh, I'm just really looking for the carbon. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. this is good for for women oh. for moving shine for for this year. Oh. Mm -hmm. For Viagra as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for moving shine and for Viagra. You yeah. should not be telling people things <laughs> like that. This is the king of spice ah. because it's the main source of income of here Zanzibar to export to another country. Oh, yes. yes. So the name of this tree we call cloves. Yeah. Cloves is this. This is cloves tree. Yes. I hear that uh, mm -hmm. during the um, like the Omani rain here. Yes. Like uh, cloves was one of the of the biggest uh, exportation goods that they used to export. Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see this one? Mm. But this is still is young. It's still very mm. young. When you ripe, the skin is going to change color to be ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you harvest. After to harvest, you, you draw the sun, then you get the brown. The, the brown black. color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they usually mix it with cardamom for tea, right? Yes. They mix it yeah. and also for like pilau. Pilau, rice, like yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is pure originated from Indonesia. Indonesia. Yes, Indonesia. Indonesia had the use for making cigarettes, mm. but Asia Zanzibar used for making oil. Okay. Cloth oil, yes, Close good for toothache and uh -huh. for massage. Okay. We use where it. does the where is the oil extracted from? Uh, this. The oil for the, the oil is from this the, we squeeze. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, we mix with the coconut uh, oil. Coconut oil, yeah. So that we get there. So you squeeze this. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Squeeze the beans. And this one also, how many years does it take to be? Ah, it takes uh, five years. Five years, yes. okay. And it will grow very big tree, 15 to 19 meters. Okay. Yes, also place a year harvest. family we close part one of these two parts zanzibar spice farm feature with the spectacular antics and voice of mr butterfly he is amazing he's a lot of fun i enjoyed myself and i truly learned a lot guys i will be seeing you soon on part two where you will meet zanzibar's newly crowned queen of spices don't miss out until then peace Ready? yes Uh -huh. Woo! Jambo, jambo! Jambo! Akuna matata zanziba! Akuna matata zanziba! Mr. Butterfly! Ogwa! Ah-ha-ha! Uh -huh. Woo! Ogwa nye mnazi yapu! Ati anase! Ati anase matena! Alo again! Alo again inase! Kwe tu zanziba Kwe tu zanziba Hakuna matata Oya Malaika Mina kupe Mina kupe da Malaika Ati miki jana mwenziu Na shindu ana mali Zina Kwe Minge kuwa malaika Jambo! Jambo!
Jambo, woo, Jambo Buana, Havari Gani, Zuri Sana, Ati Wagen, Havari Bisho, Gandhi Bayetu, Akuna Matata, Jambo, woo, Jambo Buana, Havari Gani, Zuri Sana, Ati Wagen, Makari Bisho, Gandhi Bayetu. Hakuna matata Nchi ya maajabu Hakuna matata Karibishwa wakeni Hakuna matata Zanziba edukowa Hakuna matata Hakuna matata Hakuna matata Ejambo Ejambo wana Habarigani Mzuri sana Hakuna matata Wakarikisha Zanziba edu Hakuna matata. Bravo. 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 B